Hi everyone, welcome to Gnan Cloud Garage. In this session, as part of the step-by-step -step OpenShift 4.x deployment process, we are going to create a install config.ml file in OpenShift container platform helper VM. Okay, so let's quickly recap our OpenShift solution architecture. So until now, we did the pre-implementation step and post-implementation step, and we established the trust between vCenter and helper VM. Now I'm going to create a install config.ml file on helper VM. Okay, so this is a pre-implementation steps. And in this install config ML file, we require a two IP address, static DNS record IPs, for APA virtual IP, what ends with 47, ingress virtual IP ends with 48. Okay. And within our implementation procedure, we completed first two steps. And third step is create a working directory on helper VM. So let's log into our lab system. Let's see the LS. So there is already one working directory, LS space hyphen L. See, OCP 411 directory is created. Okay. And another, this step is completed. And extract the OpenShift installer in a present working directory. So we have to extract the binary file. In our previous session, we already, as part of pre implementation steps, we downloaded the OpenShift installer binary from Red Hat website. Those binaries, it comes with a tar.zip file we are going to extract now. So log into the lab system. When you type ls command, you can see these two are the tar.gz files. So to extract these two files, tar space xvf, open shift, press tab, and you can just press enter. It will extract three files from this zip file. And same way, another file, tar.xvf, open shift hyphen install, and press enter. So this first I extracted the client file and then main installer file. Both extraction is completed. To verify that ls space hyphen l list. See, we can see there is a green color highlighted one is downloaded. Extracted from this dot zip files. Okay. And there is one readme file also created. So this readme file to just to view clear the screen. So you can just tap cat space readme file as per this instruction in the readme file they clearly says after extracting this archive you can move the openshift install binary to your location this is slash user usr local slash bin location so either we can use mv command or we can use cp command let's say we can use the cp command using the cp command also we can move from this location to and this usr local bin location but the files are just for our clear view let me clear the screen again ls so green uh, whichever the file highlighted in green those three binaries we are moving so we can just use either copy or mv so i'm just using cp command oc cube ctl and open shift install space and the location is we have to use usr slash local slash bin and enter okay now to verify this one change the directory cd to slash usr slash local and slash bin and type ls command list ls space hyphen l we can see these three files are copied to this location okay and that point is completed these two steps are completed and whatever we discuss i highlighted the commands here mkdr directories created and tar files we extracted and we reviewed the readme file as per this instruction we copy to usr local bin location okay so within our implementation procedure third step and fourth step also completed and now the fifth step is create the install config ml file so in order to create the install config ml file the command is open shift hyphen install create install hyphen config the same file name space and hyphen hyphen directory name our directory is ocp 411 so you can just run this one command now this command i just copied in the notepad just let me copy here and paste it in our open shift helper vm 
now enter see when we enter it says that ssh public key use arrow keys to move type to filter okay it, it is showing as none but we have to choose the ssh key dot ssh key so select this one enter and there is a flat form we already as part of pre implementation steps we validated our platform is vSphere platform so alibaba cloud we are not going to deploy and aws we are not going to deploy gcb also no nutanix no openstack no power snow we are deploying on vSphere so when you select the vSphere just press enter and vCenter name we have to enter the vCenter name there is a question for help suppose if you enter the question it says the domain name or ip address of the vCenter server to be used for installation so let's say we are using the vCenter either host name or ip address for example i am using a ip address 192.168.243. And the IP address for vCenter server is 45. Now enter. And the username, even username should give you a domain account. Suppose if you have a query, just question mark help the username to log into the vCenter. So vCenter, we should give you a domain authentication. So we already given the permission for one of the account. Let me double check that account name. So when we log into vCenter server, go to the menu and we can see the administration tab. Under administration, select the global permission. We have the domain account. The name is Kumar. So you can use the same account. So let's say Kumar at the rate anpslab.com. Enter. And the, we have to enter the password. Once we enter the password, enter. And it says connecting to vCenter failed to fetch the install config and the base domain failed to create a asset platform. Maybe we given as IP address. Ensure provided information is correct. Information is correct only, but somehow it is not able to reach. So that means maybe we can retry instead of IP address or anpslab.com id is correct only now this time we can try with the host name somehow it's failed to fetch the information let me retry again root select the platform vspa and we have to choose the vcenter name let's say vcenter name is vcenter hyphen zero one dot ANPS lab dot com. See when you see the host name here. See vcenter server. The host name is vcenter hyphen zero one ANPS lab dot com. So the same name I given. And the username, let's say we'll try to give the administrator administrator at the rate vSphere.local now enter and the password okay enter still the connecting having issue somehow the connectivity is uh, even in our previous session we have a uh, some ad level connectivity issue so currently ad is okay and OCP helper connection status is OK. And vCenter connectivity status also OK. We'll quickly try with the ping status. Ping with 192.168. We can try the 243.44. Oh, it's able to reach DC and 45 vCenter also reachable. and 46 also reachable okay let me try any dns issue cat space slash etc slash host
okay we can map to the dns record also fine and okay let me check the connectivity issue at v center level 192.168. Two four three dot forty five. Once it is connected, type the shell and let me increase the font. And here we can check the post entries. Okay, host file is correct. Okay, here the host name file name is incorrect. So let me edit. The file name here should be vcenter-01. Okay, we'll enter the same name. Something issue, that's the reason it's showing error message. So to edit this one, we have to type the command vi space slash etc slash host and we can use insert to edit so let me if you see here the 45 v center hyphen is missing hyphen okay now to save the settings escape colon wq exclamation mark now it is saved so once it is saved let's recheck again cat space slash etc slash host v center hyphen zero one and we'll check the result.conf also etc slash resolve dot conf and here the name name server is correct okay it's pointed to our ad server okay so now let me go back to our ocp helper vm and we'll retry again so clear the screen So we can retype the same command. Open shift install create install iPhone and config press enter and we'll choose the root. And we can choose the vSphere platform and vCenter server host name. Let's say the host name is vCenter hyphen zero one dot ANPS lab dot com. OK, enter and the password is username is kumar at the rate anpslab.com enter and the password enter okay even username password is correct somehow it is error message uh, we'll try one more time if still this issue uh, will i will continue in the next session okay so let me try again with a different approach we can try with vSphere and we'll give the IP address 192.168.243.45 and the username we are, we are okay to give the same username or we'll give the administrator Or still we are getting the same error message. Maybe the trust relationship we extracted when we have a incorrect configuration. So what we can do is we can uh, implement the trust relationship again. OK, so I will fix it uh, offline and the next session I will show you the deploying the further procedure. 
okay this is error i can fix it some configuration issue with the dns i will fix it and in the next session i will show you how to deploy the open shift cluster okay so that's it create install config having some issue due to some dns configuration i will try to fix it thank you if you're watching this video first time, please do view, like, share, and subscribe to the Gnant Cloud Garage channel. If you're already subscribed, I appreciate all your support. Bye for now.